Brutal reality behind why Sigma males ignore people. Have you ever been captivated by the air of mystery surrounding someone who seems to stand apart, defying the norms of social circles? These individuals, known as Sigma males, exude an aura of intrigue that garners curiosity and respect. Yet there lies a brutal reality beneath their enigmatic exterior. The tendency to ignore people. Like a lone wolf on a distant hill, the Sigma male's isolation speaks volumes about their intricate nature. The dark forest often holds secrets more captivating than the open meadow. This saying gets at the heart of Sigma males and their love for being alone. Just like how forests hide incredible stuff, these guys hide a whole world in their heads that most folks don't see. They're like the smart folks who go to a quiet spot to think hard, just like a wise person finding a quiet cave to get smarter. It's their way of getting away from the noise and finding the real stuff. In today's video, we shall discuss brutal realities behind why Sigma males ignore people. Reality 5. Take up too much of their time. Sigma males are the kind of folks who've got kindness and generosity in spades. They're always ready to lend a hand to help out. But here's the thing. They also value their time. They like to keep some of it reserved just for themselves, a slice of life where they can do their own thing. Now they don't mind helping others once in a while. They get that sometimes you need a hand. But when someone starts making a habit of taking, 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 that's where the line gets drawn. Sigma males aren't too keen on being a doormat. They respect their own space and privacy. It's like this. If you're always hanging around, asking for favors left and right, it can start feeling like you're treating them like your personal helper. And they ain't up for that. They're not trying to be mean, but they also don't want to be taken for granted. So if you keep pushing and demanding more of their time, Sigma males won't just sit there and take it forever. No, they'll step back. It's not about disrespecting you. It's about respecting themselves. They're setting a boundary saying, hey, I need some space too. Reality 4. Skepticism about social games. Sigma males. They're not easily fooled. They've got this knack for seeing beyond the surface, cutting through the act that many people put on. You know those little chit-chats, the small talk that's all about weather and generic stuff. Well, Sigma males, they ain't buying it. To them, it's like a game. A game they're not willing to play. They're not into those fake interactions, those smiles that don't quite reach the eyes, those words that mean nothing. It's not their style. Instead of wasting their time on that, they'd rather save their energy for the real stuff, the conversations that actually matter. They want to dive deep, to explore thoughts, feelings, ideas, the kind of stuff that makes you think, makes you grow. So it's not that they're trying to be rude or standoffish. Nah, it's just that they're not willing to put up with the facade. They're the kind who'd rather have a few genuine connections than a hundred fake ones. It's like that scene in a movie where the hero goes straight to the point, cutting through all the drama. Sigma males, they're like that hero, cutting through the drama of social games to get to the heart of things. Reality 3. Past Betrayals They're not new to life's rough edges. They'd felt past betrayals like deep cuts. When someone they trusted turned out to be a wolf in sheep's clothing, it left a mark. Now, it's not like they're bitter or carrying grudges around, but they're cautious. They're not quick to open up again. That sense of trust, once shattered, takes time to rebuild. And during that time, they might seem distant, like they're keeping you at arm's length. They're not being mean. They're just protecting themselves. They've learned that self-preservation matters. It's not about shutting people out. It's about making sure they don't get hurt like that again. They've learned the hard way that vulnerability can come with a cost, and they're not in a hurry to pay that price again. It's not about ignoring you. It's about being careful who they let into their world. So, if a Sigma male seems hesitant to dive into a connection, remember, it's not about you. It's about the scars they're carrying from the past. They're guarding their hearts, not because they're cold, 
but because they've learned that caution can be a shield against future pain. Reality 2. Lost in thought. Seeking solitude. Sigma men. They're the thinkers, the ponderers. They've got these minds that just keep churning thoughts, and it's not unusual for them to get lost in their own mental labyrinth. When that happens, they're not deliberately trying to ignore people, but their focus drifts away from the outside world. Sometimes, they need this quiet space to wrap their heads around things. Decision-making. Yeah, that's a process. They like to sort it out in their own heads first, before they dive into discussions. So they need that personal bubble to do their mental gymnastics. They're not antisocial. They enjoy being around folks, having a good chat. But here's the thing. They also need moments to catch their breath, to recharge. The hustle and bustle of constant interaction can get overwhelming for them. And when that happens, they might just retreat into their own minds. Now, if someone barges into their thinking time, well, that's like disrupting their mental orchestra. They might seem distant, aloof even. It's not about ignoring you. It's about preserving their mental sanctity. So if a Sigma male seems to be pulling back, don't take it personally. It's not a sign of coldness or indifference. They just need a breather. They're hitting the pause button to recharge their mental batteries. Think of it like a timeout in a fast paced game. They're catching their breath before they're back in the action. Reality 1. Seeking intellectual kinship. Ignoring mediocrity. Sigma men, they're like magnets for brilliance. They're drawn to people who match their intellectual wavelength, or even surpass it. It's not just about ego. It's about a deep craving for knowledge and growth. They've got this theory. The company you keep shapes your journey. They know it's no coincidence that successful folks flock together while negativity gets left behind. Sigma males get it. They get that hanging around those who've made strides can propel them forward too. It's not just a clique thing. It's about evolution. Now, when they come across folks who don't quite hit the intellectual mark, they might seem distant. It's not snobbery. It's an understanding that time is precious. They're not about wasting it on empty conversations or shallow connections. It's like the stark reality that they're here to learn and grow, not to idly pass time. Don't misunderstand. They're not using people for their smarts. It's about the camaraderie of minds, the sharing of insights. They're thirsty for wisdom, lifelong learners who find solace in the company of those who can teach them something new. So, yeah, they're choosy. Reaching the end of this video. If you found it helpful or interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to catch more of our similar videos.